Hello everyone, I am Tesla, and welcome back to my Feed the Beast Pyramid Reborn series. So last time, we worked on the mob farm, we worked on power, and we worked on some quests. Now, in the last episode, I had some technical difficulties. Uh, by that, my audio went kaput. Hopefully, I won't encounter any more hiccups like that. So I'm sorry that this episode was delayed, but I had a lot to try and get past with that. So I have done a lot of work off camera. Uh, I got a ton of marble, as you guys can see here. I replaced all of the wood or cobblestone I had, which, I mean, I had some cobblestone, but a lot of it was wood. So I replaced that, kind of built this out, you know, torched it up. I also fixed up my mob farm. Now, one of the things that's kind of irking me at the moment is that the mob farm is not, it's not center with this. So I'm probably going to end up moving all of this and trying to uh, push this back a bit and have it center on that. Uh, but that may not be the goal today. Uh, like I did say before, I was going to work on the mob farm and I did, uh, but I didn't record any of that. Now, as you guys can see, there's cursed earth in there. If you look at the tooltip up above, it's from Extra Utilities too. That allows pretty much all mobs to spawn on it, but it really only works kind of like in darkness, hence why I've got it like that. Uh, I did have some trouble setting this up because it turns out that using hoppers allows light in there. Here, I'll just show you guys real quick. So see, now you can see the yellow. And the yellow does not work for spawn rate. So if I put that back, bam. Now it's instantly, instantly black again. So on the back side here, I just have fans which are pushing them into some spikes that are against this wall. There's like one there, one there, and then one there, and one there. So uh, cursed earth, fans pushed into spikes, they get killed. And all of their stuff gets collected right here. So... Yay, we're getting mob drops. And it's, you know, fully automated, much better than what I was using. Now, aside from that, I did get a little help, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was AFKing for resources. As you guys can see here, I made some drawers, and I've actually got all four of these drawers full at the moment. And uh, I might have a slight issue with resources in here. You know, j just a little. Uh, but I actually ended up having a power issue and what I mean by a power issue is somehow even with three furnace generators going and this resource generator doing nothing but the charcoal and then you know the rest of it powering the stuff over here somehow I was constantly running out of power like it actually completely shut off which is totally not good so after some testing, um, my husband and I were able to figure out that my issue is with the second cable. For some reason, it only wants to push the power this way immediately first before it was continuing to power things this way. So while the initial goal was to try and have uh, at least this quest completed today, that's no longer going to be the case because I changed it so that I'm not taking all of the power away from over in this line and instead I only have this only this actual furnace generator at the moment is powering that so yeah I have also worked on the redstone power one or the EU power I should say which is where I put redstone in there and it goes through there uh, now something else is as you guys can see that I have armor on and the reason for the armor is that well because I can I had a lot of bones so you know I had to do that I just I didn't want to put them away I also did a ton of resource gathering if you guys couldn't tell uh, the only thing I didn't really work on at this point is cobblestone because well that's a pain so one of the things that we are going to try to work on today, if I don't get stopped by all of my crappy wiring right now, is we're going to try working on the greenhouse fan for sure. 
that that's going to be the ultimate thing that we're going to try and get done today but to get the greenhouse fan done we have to do other stuff oh my gosh my hunger is being so bad so i've already put in greenhouse fan into the search now i need electron tubes so to get the electron tubes i'm going to need a thermiotic fabricator which is going to require gold so what we're going to do is i've got basalt and i've got copper going i'm actually going to remove the copper i don't want any more copper because oh, crap that's a metric button uh let's actually first look into some storage drawer upgrades because if i don't do that it's going to be problematic and then i will show you guys some of the other stuff i worked on off off camera but like I said, we're going to do uh, some upgrades here, which is going to require, here we go, we've got some storage drawers. Now we're going to take these sticks and surround them again around the storage drawers, which apparently that, oh, I already have more sticks on me. Yay. Okay. So that's, well, there. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll set one down for our marble right, right there, because why not? You know, just, just so I have marble put away. Because, well, marble is awesome. And, yeah. There we go. So, 2048. Wow, I don't even have enough room. Okay, so I don't want to use all of the upgrades because that would kind of suck. So, we're going to go ahead and see what it takes. Oh, it doesn't take much. So, we're going to want one for iron. We're just going to make a few of these, like four, I think. And we'll put the rest away for now. Uh, let's see here. We've got iron. Uh, that's tin, copper, redstone. So hopefully that will be more than sufficient. But uh, I'll know for sure here in a minute. So we've got the iron. Uh, I may actually restart up iron just because, well, iron is definitely always good to have and I think I will want a drawer for the uh, freaking basalt because I started basalt going I kind of want to see if I can work basalt into this I'm not sure what else I'm going to do yet but I, I do want to try and make it look nice and pretty it's just going to take me some time my building skills are definitely not where I'd like them to be but eventually one day one day for sure so we're gonna actually just drop a bunch of this off i think i'll keep actually i don't want to take a good pickaxe with me I'll, I'll take a pickaxe but i don't want to take that pickaxe what was i gonna do um oh yeah need to go to the nether i need to get a gold ingot because i need to be able to replicate that but i also need sand which is what i was looking for ah there's my sand so now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put sand over here yeah there there we go now that's all generating uh, i think that'll continue regardless oh no well it will now so there's that uh we're gonna go over here we're gonna grab some bones uh we're probably gonna make a bone sword and a bone pickaxe and just because I have so much uh, marble, I may build out a marble out there. Just because, well, it, it's it's the nether. And I think it'll be easier in some regards. I mean, that should work, right? It was a, yep, bone sword. Sweet. And yeah, we'll do a bone an axe i don't want an axe i want a pickaxe oops if i can do this properly there we go so i mean that that should work that that should be sufficient for now so i can do that uh so the other thing do i have enough torches heck i don't know uh we'll grab some more just because you don't, don't want to be caught without torches so we've got eight there we've got that bam now one of the things i did do that um yeah you guys probably couldn't see there is uh i did create an elevator and instead of having to use water to get down there 
uh, I can now use the elevator to get down to my nether area. So here we go. Yeah, that, that's a huge bit up. So, but we're going to go through, I'm debating if I want a builder's wand and I think I might before I go because a builder's wand will definitely help this go faster. And then it's going to be a bit of a waiting game. However, I may just skip over that part and just be like, you know, show you guys after. Uh, but here we go. All right. And so we are in the nether. Now, as you guys can see, uh, last time I was here, I didn't really uh, do a whole, a whole lot here. I kind of just did enough to get by. And uh, for anyone who might be new, I really dislike void. I am always afraid I'm going to fall and get myself hurt. So I'm just going to say that now. I think we're going to uh, that like that. Because I like, I like to have a bit of a pathway. Because uh, I, I really am afraid of getting myself killed here. But I think we will be back very shortly. I'm going to go work on uh, building this out and trying to build a uh, platform to get pigmen to spawn so that I can get myself some gold. Because, yeah, that's, that's definitely going to be a necessity. So, yeah, we'll be right back. You know, see if there's anything else we can do while we're waiting on pigmen to spawn. So we have the thermiotic fabricator that we need to make, which I can't make yet, which really sucks because I need sturdy casings, but I can at least make some sturdy casings because that's just bronze and tin. So take some bronze, we're going to take some tin, I'm just going to go over here and make some bronze because, you know, whatever. I don't know if I just overdid it or not. I mean, it's forestry, so I... Oh, no, that's thermal foundation. Crap. Oh, it's used in a few things. Yeah, it should be good. All right, so we now have the bronze ingots. Let's go ahead and make the sturdy casing, if I can do this properly. Yeah, two should be more than enough. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of that there. We'll put that there. Uh, let's see here. So we've got that. Yeah, we're, we're just really waiting on the gold. So what we might do is, we might be back after we get some zombie pigment to spawn. Yeah, see you guys shortly. Alright, welcome back everyone. So not only have I built an area for the pigment to spawn, I decided to wait a bit for them to actually spawn. So as you can see, there's uh, quite a few of them. So we're going to go ahead and kill them now and hopefully have enough gold to work on our thermiatic fabricator. So pissing off pigmen every day, all day, as long as they can't get to me, because if they can get to me, I'll squeal like a pigman and that would not be good, which they do not want to die very easily. Oh my gosh, I hope this sword won't break on me. That would be so bad. Alright, so I already see we have a gold nugget there. We're going to need a total of nine. So I'm really hoping I waited long enough. Oh crap. Am I going to be able to... Can, can, can I hit them with this? Oh, I can. Sweet! It's only the clay tools I can't do it with. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, well, there goes that axe. So, pickaxe time. Guess I can say I've got a bone to pick with them. Oh my gosh, that thing is such a tiny little baby one. So this is actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Because, well, they're all on my bone tools. So I'm not... It's going to take me forever and a day to break into this once I get them all killed. So that I can hopefully go ahead and gather all of the stuff without getting myself killed. Because, yeah, I... I need, I need that gold. Excuse me, pigmen, you guys just need to die, please? Oh my gosh. And I don't think I can make any wood tools right now. I mean, maybe, but... Alright, that one's dead. Maybe? Oh, nope, that one is not dead. Okay, now that one's dead. Now let's try and kill this one. 
All right. Now they should all be dead. Yay. So we can... Oh, not hop in there because, yeah. I apparently need to remove uh, that portion as well. Let's see. Did we get enough gold? No. We only got enough for five nut we only got five nuggets guys this is kind of depressing to only have five nuggets after all that time well we're gonna go back i don't think i can replicate the nuggets we'll see but what i need to do for sure is make some more bone tools because yeah that is never good so what can we do with the nuggets <gasps> absolutely zippity doo da. that's that's lovely guys that that's lovely did I just hear a pigman? I think I might have. No, nope. must have been a pigman in my imagination. Either way, though. And that royally bites. I thought for sure I had enough zombie pigmen there. So it looks like we're going to be playing the waiting game some more. Um, because, well, yeah. We definitely, we definitely need the gold or I can't continue with that portion actually you know what let's see what else I can do so we've got this going is this one almost done no I mean it's getting it's getting relatively close it's so just like that one uh, so let's go ahead and check the back side here for the quests and see what else I can do I don't think I can do the induction furnace so there's that and I've obviously already done those two can I do anything here? Biomass, 50,000. Yeah, I think I think biomass is going to take too long for me to make. Let's uh let's actually look into biomass and see if maybe we can just switch gears towards that. But I mean, maybe. I don't I mean, I that one wants that. This wants but see, I need ash. To get ash, I need peat, or I need to make... Well, I mean, I could do that. Is that loam? Yeah, I don't want loam. And I don't think I can make endstone. I mean, it says sandstone in a fluid transposer. Eh. That says ash brick. That says nether brick. I can't make nether brick? No. Because I don't actually have the stuff. So, we're just going to have to do dirt, which is fine. Dirt is a relatively easy bit and so what I need now is some flint which actually oh crap I have not made any of my gravel yet so we're gonna pop iron off here and try to pretend like we know exactly what we're doing and no 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 it's it's you know we've we've played uh minecraft a ton of times now let's see if I can actually make flint because if I can make flint that'll make life easier in some regards but ah yes it's gonna take three which now I have two. Oh wait there we go there's a third one so we can make flint and then we can make a flint and steel which is nice I'm gonna grab some wood and now we need some dirt I know I was gonna save the dirt to do other stuff with but this seems like a much better use because this is gonna take some time anyhow now, because I don't feel like being too picky, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make 16 of these wood piles. And we're going to work on putting some dirt down. So there's three, there's four, and oops, nope. We don't want that there. We're going to want that there. There we go. I don't know if I will have enough dirt for this I mean I'd like to believe so but this is basically how you use the wood piles from forestry uh, I just recently learned this in a different mod pack you know what I don't have to do these corners but will definitely look nicer so now we're gonna cover it up actually Will I have enough? No, because I covered up those corners, I don't have enough. So we're going to remove these corners after all. So here's here's the thing. Um, I thought that the bottom piece affected it, but it doesn't seem to. Like what's underneath the wood piles. 
So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, we are going to light that on fire, and then we're going to do that. Now, as you guys can see, even with the lid on fire, and I don't know if you guys can hear this, but what I can hear is I can still, he still hear a burning, like a flame going, and you can see the particle just barely. You, you can see the flame particles still going. So what's going on right now is all of the wood piles that are underneath there are actually burning. Over a period of time, what's going to happen is it will eventually burn out and I will get roughly 11 charcoal per wood pile I had in there plus two ash, which will be super nice. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, the next thing we're probably going to want since we're going that route and we're going to want you know, a decent amount, is a shovel is definitely nice for that. So there is our shovel and we are going to want more wood piles made because, well, you can't go wrong with being able to get that. Actually, let us not use that axe and let's grab out this axe. And that way I do not have to worry. Oh, no, no, no. I did not want the tree planted there. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to drop this gold into here for now. We're also going to drop the wood pile and that crap and that. And then we're going to go see if anything at all has changed over here, though I doubt it. We only need four more gold nuggets, which would be super nice at this point. Yeah, see, nothing's in there. So I think this is going to be another case of where I have to sit here and wait for them to spawn. So we'll be back shortly. Alright and welcome back everybody. So as you can see we have a ton more zombie pigment here. Hopefully this time we will definitely get enough of the gold nuggets that we need. And hopefully without our sword breaking too because yeah. The sword breaking the last time uh Kind of sucked. Ooh, that is two gold nuggets right there. That puts us relatively close to what we need. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get the rest. I think we need about four. So, yeah, that, that's about half of it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and that looks like it might be a... Oh my gosh, guys, I think we have more than enough. Oh my god, did it really break on me? Yes, it did. That's okay though, guys. I think I have enough for the first gold ingot. <gasps> Yay! It's almost time to do a little dance at this point because, yeah, that took forever. So we're just going to drop a torch in there because, you know, why not? And now I'm going to seal that back up. And, yeah. Oh, wow, I got six gold nuggets from that. Six. That is awesome. And I know I've got five from the last time, so that gives us eleven. So we are going to go ahead and take the rest of our gold nuggets. We are going to combine them. And get this started. Oh, without drawing those out. As I was going to say, and now we are going to get this started so that we can have some gold nuggets. Oh wow, that is still burning. I thought that would have been done by now. So yeah. Uh, gold nuggets are, or not gold nuggets, but gold ingots are finally going, which is always nice. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is still burning. So that, that, that's pretty awesome. Hopefully it'll be done shortly. But until that point, we just gotta let it go. So, on that note, we're just gonna have to wait for a fourth gold ingot which it should be going back to in a minute let's see here do 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 there it goes oh we already have four sweet take some sand do that and now let's see what we need to make the thermiotic fabricator so for the thermiotic fabricator we now have the gold we've got that now what is that oh that's just any glass okay uh, apparently I moved my furnace, though, and completely forgot. Because that's bloody brilliant, Tesla. Forget you moved your own furnace. So let me rephrase. We're going to place the furnace back down. Grab out one charcoal, because I don't think I need more than eight glass right now. 
If I can actually split that up, put in the sand, put in the charcoal there. And we are going to take a look at exactly what that needs. That needs three. And a chest. And I've only got one there, so we're just going to wait on it to be finished in the furnace. Uh, so there's that. Now, is there anything I can do with this gold sword? No. Because it is broken, it does not appear so. And I'm sure that even though it shows it can be smelted, it probably cannot. Alright, so we now have the four glass. I think I only needed three, but that's okay. Here we go. We have a thermiotic fabricator, which is awesome. If I don't send myself flying off to deep end, that would be great. So since this is going to need power, I think we're just going to set it here. And one, two, three, four, you know what, four should be sufficient. We'll put that there. And now we need some tin and some redstone. So we will grab out some redstone from there and just grab out a stack of tin because, you know, it, it'll make life easy. Now what are we going to need for the greenhouse blocks? Oh, we're going to need a carpenter. Crap. Okay, well, let, let, let's get this going. Uh, not that. There we go. So we've got that going, which is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we need for the greenhouse block. We need some camouflage paneling, which means I need dye. And for dye, it means I need lapis lazuli. I need red. How am I going to get wood pulp? Wood pulp also requires a carpenter, which requires bronze and all that. So, I'm going to take some more of this glass. Yay. And we've got some bronze here. And we've got a sturdy casing there. And now we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a carpenter, which the carpenter is going to require biomass. Which, to get the biomass, which we need the biomass regardless, we are going to need a fermenter. Which, for the fermenter, oh, wow, this is, this is going to suck to some degree. So, yeah, let, let's double check that again. For the... Okay, that's Carpenter. That was wrong. Oh, wait, I don't... I just need that? No, no. Clicked the wrong thing, didn't I? Yes, I did. I need biomass, which means I need my fermenter. Which, the fermenter can be done with water there and saplings. Or it can be done with actual biomass, which I mean I've made some biomass. I just don't have a whole lot and I gotta work on this whole mulch bit. I need bronze gears which are around iron. So we'll grab out some iron, we'll put the iron there and we'll make uh, four bronze gears. There we go. Now I've got the bronze gears. And we are now going to work on getting this made. Which apparently it says I'm missing a sturdy casing. Which I, oh yeah, I just used the sturdy casing. I was about to say, I thought I had one. But apparently not. So there we go. We now have a fermenter. Yay! So I think we're going to set the fermenter there. We're going to set the carpenter there. Now, for the fermenter, we're going to need some biomass, which, where did I put that? I know I created some. Oh, there it is, 52. And then I'm going to need a way to get water over there. Ah, crap. Okay, so here's what else we're going to do. So, we need the biomass and we need water in there. So, we're going to take a look at pumps. Which, this should be relatively easy. That just requires some iron. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. I'm going to grab out some iron. And we will make ourselves some more iron plates. So that we can uh, get some of this made. Because, personally, I like the immersive engineering pump which is right here. It's relatively easy. 
It's just a matter of getting all of the components made, which is exactly what we're working on now. So with that being said, oh, that needs a copper. Do I have a copper over here or do I have to go over there? I do have a copper. Awesome. So now that we have the copper, I want to make that bit and then we're going to do that. We also need a lever. Ooh, under pressure. All right, so we got the cobblestone and that. That and that. Bam. Now I need, where's my bucket? Ah, there's a bucket. That, that'll that suffice for the time being. Now what we're going to do is we are going to pump the water in from right there. My goodness, this thing takes forever. Oh well, could be worse. Of course, now that I think about it, the power for the immersive engineering fluid pump always goes in through the top and I think I need a hammer to do this properly because I need to be able to configure it. So the engineer's hammer will take a single string, which is something I didn't have before, which now that I've reworked that, I thankfully have quite a bit of. So let's go ahead and make ourselves the immersive engineering hammer. Hammer! Hammer, hammer, hammer. All right. And I believe it's the orange I need. I'm going to put the one bucket. Oh, crap. If I don't get turned around, we're going to put the one bucket in there, come over here, grab another bucket, and do that there. We are now going to put the lever there, turn that on, and now we need some second cable because it needs power. Now if I've done this correctly, what should occur is this should fill with water. Now, whether or not that's actually going to be the case is a completely different story. Here we go. Uh, let's start with that piece. I should have pulled out the other freaking pickaxe because, yeah, that takes forever. So, yeah, there we go. That now fills with water. It's an infinite, res or infinite source. I don't have to fill it. I don't have to bucket it in. None of that. So all I have to do is wait on this, which actually appears to be done now, which is fantastic. Because then I need some dirt and it is going to be taking this dirt with the ash I get and that'll make the compost. So we're going to go ahead and take off this top layer. As you guys can see, those wood piles turned into ash blocks. Oops, I did not mean to hit the ash block, but yeah, there you guys go. You can see it. 11 charcoal and uh, two of the ash. So, I mean, I'm not getting a whole lot of ash, but at the same point in time, considering how easy it is to get wood, I'm still getting a decent amount, which is definitely nice. And this will let me get started on part of this. So over here we go and split this up into six pieces of dirt now. That'll give us six mulch, which yeah, I'd like for it to be more, but you know, not much you can do. That'll, that'll give us that. Now the next thing I need to see, which I'm pretty sure we have, are drums. Awesome, we do. And we have a metric button of iron. So that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to make an iron drum because I don't think it'll be a waste at all because I'm pretty sure I will come back and use it. And ever since I found out about drums from Extra Utilities too, I love to use them. Like, to no end. I really do. So I think what I'm going to try and do, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try to do that and then attach the drum there no is is that not gonna work no 
Okay. I was worried it wasn't going to. I wonder if I have a fluid transfer node. I can always try that. I just wanted to use these immersive engineering fluid pipes because I still had leftovers. Uh, I don't see any of my transfer nodes in this tree is in the way. I only have standard transfer nodes. Yay me. But a fluid transfer node shouldn't be too hard. Oh no, it's just gonna require that I have an iron bucket. So there goes an iron bucket. We'll grab out like two of those because yeah, that is always used. Oh, it only needs one. And let's see, it says chisel any stone. Do I have, oh yeah, I have some stone. Fantastic. Now, do I have a wrench for extra utilities? I think I made one, but I'm not actually seeing it. So maybe I didn't. Maybe it was just like something I was hoping for at this point. I, I'd like to say I have one, but if I don't see it, it's kind of hard for me to do that. You know what? Get out of the way. Oh my gosh. Fine. Whatever. I broke the bone axe already. Yay. Alright. Put the tree back there. Do that. So yeah, no, I guess, I guess I do not have a wrench for extra utilities too. Probably because it requires red dye, which requires flowers, which I have none of. But that's not a big deal. So, uh, back to what we need. We need two redstone. And do I need anything else? No. Fantastic. So we will now go over here. And, no, let's see, can I do it there? Yes, I can do it there. Which means I should be able to just put the drum there. And a transfer pipe there. Yes, that is awesome. Alright, so very slowly, we're getting all of the biomass drained into here, which is, which is great. But now we need to get more of the... What is it called? Yes, this stuff. The wood piles going. I can't remember the name of them. I mean, I should easily remember the name of them, but it's a matter of if I do or not. And I did not. I really need to organize my storage because I, I don't even know where my flint and steel is. Oh, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. Yay. Okay. So here is the wood pile get this back down and get the dirt back out do 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 do, 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 do. more wood and light this on fire there's that all right so the next question is exactly how much we need for the greenhouse for, for the greenhouse fan so I know I need the paneling which is going to require five for me to do that now the carpenter itself is also going to take some water so we've got the carpenter do that you can like four of those and we're just gonna bucket up a thing of water and do that now it should work there we go so each bucket does two crafts and we are definitely going to go ahead and do more than that and i need to stop that because if i don't stop that it's going to keep using up power now i'm going to use some bone meal over here and see if we can get some of the flowers that we need because we definitely need the colored flowers all right guys welcome back so now we've got all of the stuff that we actually need for this so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in there and we are going to bucket in a bucket of biomass which should give us the eight camouflage paneling. Once the camouflage paneling is done, oh we still need ash bricks, no. Are you kidding me? 
Well guys, it looks like I should have looked further ahead. So, uh, honestly, what we're going to do instead is, uh, I think we're going to call it here. I'm going to work on some stuff off camera and try and get the uh, Coke oven up and running. Or is it the Coke oven that I need for that? Hold on, let me, let me glance here. Since I need the ash brick, which means I need brick, which means I need clay, which is slag, which comes from the blast furnace. So yeah. That's what I'm going to go work on, guys, is, uh, I am going to go ahead and call it here. I'm going to do some work off camera in between episodes, working on getting a blast furnace and trying to get some of this uh, completed so that in the next episode maybe we can finish that one quest until then see you guys later